In5 allows you to use and successfully export the animation, buttons, hyperlinks, and other interactive features that come with InDesign. But In5 also adds some interactivity on top of what's already available. One of these features is a 3D flip card. Watch how this photo will flip to the other side to display information. What a great way to get your reader excited and really understanding the material on your document. With the Pro version of In5, you'll get a menu full of interactive widgets, many of which we'll cover in this chapter. So let's see how to create this 3D flip card. So I'll return back here to InDesign and I'm working on the 7.1 document. On page 13, I have all of the objects that we'll use to create three 3D flip cards. I've got the photos at the bottom here, and then I have a group which consists of a lowered opacity photo and a text frame. Each one of these is grouped and you can tell that by the dotted border around the edge. Now, in order to make the 3D flip card, I need to make sure that these items are sitting right on top of each other. So I'll select these two items and choose in my align panel, the left and the top alignment buttons. I'll do the same thing again for the blueberries, left and top. All right, now I'm ready to create my 3D flip card. Number one, I have to make sure that I select both of those items. And then I'll choose the In5 menu, which is installed when you install In5. The interactive widgets menu will show the basic In5 features at the top and those that are included with Pro and higher In5 subscriptions. I'll come down here to 3D Flipcard. It tells me to create a two-state, multi-state object using InDesign's Object States panel. I'll choose Window, Interactive, Object States. This will open the Object States panel. Once I have these two items selected, I'll choose the Magic menu and then choose New State. I can name this one Raspberry. When I hit Return, it's going to tell me that the Raspberry is selected and I'll choose horizontally or vertically from the 3D flip card menu. I'll choose horizontally for this one. Let's do the blueberry. I'll select them both. Magic menu in the object states panel. New state. I can name this one. Hit return. And that's going to show up here in the 3D flip card menu. I'll choose vertically. Excellent. Now that the 3D flip cards are created, let's go see if they work in the preview panel. I'll click on the EPUB preview and replay my animation. And you'll notice that when I click on these, they do not flip. That's because this is an In5 created feature. And the only way that we can see this is when we export it using the In5 export. So we'll do that in a little while. Let's do one more 3D flip card. Select them both. Make sure that they're aligned. Choose the Object States panel. Make a new state. And then in In5, Interactive Widgets, 3D flip card, I'm able to choose horizontal or vertical. Excellent. When we're finished, this is what it's going to look like. We can flip vertically and horizontally and really engage our readers. In the next few lessons, we'll explore some of the in-five only interactive features.